Recently, the Intercontinental Championship started to mean a lot more, and we will probably get a great match at Extreme Rules pay-per-view. But just like John Cena did with the United States Championship, and now it's a fucking piece of shit, some guys can make Intercontinental Championship to mean even more. So today we're going to count five of them. Number five, Tesaro. The Swiss Batman, and that is his stupid joke, is already in a Fatal 4 Extreme Rules match at Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Personally, I don't think that he's going to leave the match with the Intercontinental Championship, but I think that he will be the Intercontinental Champion this or next year. He's one of the most over WWE wrestlers and he will totally make the Intercontinental Championship to mean something more. Number 4, Chris Jericho. He's a 9-time Intercontinental Champion and like I said in the previous video, he should be a 10-time Intercontinental Champion because it's 10. He's one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions and he would totally make the Intercontinental Championship to mean something more. If you don't like that idea, I have Chris Jericho right here so he has some words for you. Stupid idiot! Idiot! Number 3, Sami Zayn. Again, one of the most likable guys in the WWE right now. A lot of people like to compare him with Daniel Bryan because he has that simple dude look. We saw Sami Zayn holding the Intercontinental Championship at Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago and it looked amazing. Fans loved it and sometimes you don't have to be a 10-time WWE Champion or 5-time Intercontinental Champion or freaking 100 times WWE Champion, King of the Ring, Royal Rumble winner, that's probably John Cena, but you don't have to be that to make the title mean something if fans love you. Number 2, John Cena. I just had to say it. I mean, this guy made the United States Championship to mean a lot, 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 lot more than it used to mean. And now what they're doing with the United States Championship is... And by the way, John Cena has never held a Intercontinental Championship, and I'm pretty okay with that. I... I don't know. But he totally could bring the prestige to the Intercontinental Championship. And I know that so could Roman Reigns or Dean Ambrose or Seth Rollins, but at this point they should be in the main event spot. So guys like Cesaro, Chris Jericho, John Cena should get a mid-card titles to make them mean something more to give them prestige. And number one is Randy Orton. This guy was one of the greatest intercontinental champions ever. He made this title to mean a lot even when he was very young. And when he returns to the WWE, I don't see him in a better storyline than intercontinental championship storyline. I could probably say the same thing about the United States Championship, but intercontinental championship just looks better on Orton. That's the, that's the whole explanation, like, that's so stupid, but... I don't know. Randy Orton is probably not going to be in a main event picture when he returns, so why not making him a mid-card champion to make the title look even better. So that's it for today, if you want to support the channel make sure to like, subscribe and share. And I have one thing to ask for you guys, if you have any ideas on what videos I should do like top 10s, top 5s, that would really help and I hope that I will get some of them because I'm really busy right now, exams, you know, all that kind of bullshit and I'm really busy so I kind of get some time to make videos, but come up with ideas, all that kind of stuff takes a lot of time. So I would really like to know what kind of videos do you actually want. And this is the great one, peace, love and hugs, it's been a pleasure.